Welcome back to the Texas music scene, friends. We just so happen to be in one of the staple live music spots in San Marcos, Texas, The Porch. Here's a cool story and deeper dive into a few of the venues that make up the live music scene here in San Marcos. Because Texas State University or Southwest Texas University is right in the heart of San Marcos, just a couple blocks from our venue, it is a heavy college scene and there are a lot of student bands that get started here, but there's also a, a highly creative, uh, active music scene with locals. San Marcos is, you know, a college town, so there's a lot of eclectic bands that play. We have everything from bluegrass to rap, funk. It's a small but thriving community. Everyone's really close. All the venues collaborate. All the artists know each other. So it's a very supportive, small music community. My name is Joel Hoffman, and uh, this is Riley's Tavern in Hunter, Texas. Riley's opened in 1933. It was the first bar to get their license when Prohibition ended. We've been open 90 years as of this year, 2023. We have music most every night of the week except Tuesday. I wanted to host musicians, songwriters, artists, and support that. And, and that was the main reason for, for taking Riley's over. I'm Sam Strahan. I'm one of the co-owners of the Taproom in the Porch. It is a, a legacy bar in downtown San Marcos, located on the historic square. The Taproom is a restaurant in the back, and up on the square facing side, we took it from a club into a live music venue. So our emphasis is on booking San Marcos musicians, or San Martians, as they're called here, and kind of putting the, the onus on local bands to come to us and throw parties and shows and create their own scene within the space. So I really wanted the porch not to be just like one style of music. The town dictated to us that they wanted punk and metal and rock and roll. We have hippie jam bands, blues jam bands, metal, metal core, punk, emo. San Marcos is one of those places that just brings people in and traps them and makes them create. There's a lot of creative outlets and a lot of cool places to express those outlets. Jack's Roadhouse being one of them and probably the best one. I'm Mitchell Meitler. I book at Jack's Roadhouse in beautiful San Marcos, Texas. We are one of the oldest beer joints in town. It used to be an old farmhouse out here in the middle of the prairie. It was just a beer joint all the way up until the 80s. In the 2000s, uh, the new owners came, got a full liquor license, made the bar smaller, and now we have a full side stage, full side sound. Anybody that comes out to a show, it may not be their particular genre that they listen to, but San Marcos gets behind good people and good musicians. You have a college campus full of people. You have new clientele every year just coming in, new ears, new, new everything, and business is booming here. And so with that, uh, the local scene is growing. This is a happening spot on the weekends. You get off work, come over here, enjoy yourself, uh, have a good time. Majority of free shows, and it just really uh, captivates the nightlife and the music scene here in St. Marcus, Texas. It's been really fun to see the, the vibe out here. It's kind of uh, San Marcos itself. It's kind of like low key and easy and like really chill. And I think it attracts people. It's also more affordable, relatively speaking. I am Alex Pasternak. I am one of four uh, co-owners here at Rough House. It's a family affair. We're on our family's property. We're kind of doing a yeah, something for everybody out here. Families, bring you know, bring your friends, family, your groups. We've got room to spread out. So our thought was come out here to the kind of gateway to the whole country and have a beer. We have an on-site kitchen, relax, run around, spread out a little bit. We kind of just wanted to bring something out here that fit our lifestyle and um, offered something cool for, for the community. This is our uh, Pilsner. <laughs> it's a kind of a little small pour of it, but yeah, it's uh, one of our best, actually probably the best seller, our Pilsner, Rough House Pilsner. But I think this city attracts people that it's sort of like reflecting itself probably in the artists that live here. Uh, I think, you know, it's very grounded and kind of earthy and dare I say like a little bit hippie. It's got it all. I think it's got the chill kind of singer-songwriter vibe. It's kind of got it all. I will say that every musician that comes here feels like there's some special energy and it's called Magical Mystical Martindale for a reason. It's very, very magical. I'm Emily Preston, one of the owners of Martindale River Cafe uh, here in Martindale, Texas. Martindale is an awesome location because we're kind of centrally located. So we're only about 10 minutes east of San Marcos. We're about 10 minutes south of Lockhart, about 20 to 30 minutes from New Braunfels. So it's a, it's a central location where 
It feels like you're kind of in the country, but you're only 10 minutes from 35 and you have the beautiful San Marcos River in our backyard. Both previous owners of the cafe had live music here. And so we've continued that. Currently we have live music every Friday and Saturday, sometimes Sundays. So music is a big part of the cafe. Martindale River Cafe is right on the river. Um, our, our courtyard is where we have live music and just across the courtyard is the San Marcos River. Well, you have the river in San Marcos and it, when you're done on the river in the summer, you know, you, you want to go out and listen to music and, and that's kind of a thing uh, in the summertime in Texas. You do the river, then you get cleaned up, have dinner and go out and hear some good Texas music somewhere. San Marcos has a rhythm because it's a river town, so we have tubers and people that are here for the summer and then we're a college town. So. I've kind of learned this flow of the city and we book accordingly. So in the summer, we push real heavy for locals, um, maybe a slightly older crowd that's here. And then in the school year, I go for younger bands. So it's just all kind of this, this seasonality that we've learned to book around. As San Marcos is a music friendly community, there are so many venues. Like we're, we're not alone in wanting to foster and support a live music scene. And even bars that don't really book seven days a week like we do have really rich music programming as well. I'm very proud here at Riley's Tavern to have the, the first licensed place. We're very proud to support all the artists we can. I wish there was more weekends in the year and every single band that, that wants to play here can, but there's a limited amount of days every year and, and that we're doing the, as much and as best we can and please come and see us. You come out and you're going to have a great beer, great food and hear some great music and have a good time. So keep being curious and explore.